This is Fisher Black. He was an economist and a mathematician, and he's most known for this equation. Most of us will never use that formula, but there is a paper that he published in 1985 that all of us could benefit from. That paper is called Noise, and it looks at how we as humans understand the world. The effects of noise on the world and our views of the world are profound. This is noise. This is a signal. Fisher Black would call this information. It represents an underlying truth. And noise is everything that makes it difficult for us to see, hear, or understand that truth. In Fisher Black's model of the way we observe the world, noise is what makes our observations imperfect. Observation is how we learn about the world. It's the first step in trying to make sense of it. The difficulty is that noise complicates our ability to understand what's going on. We could spend hours observing patterns or days collecting data, but these observations only flirt with reality. It's inevitable that noise will seep into our observations and we'll never be able to disentangle the two completely. The world is noisy, and we have to remember this whenever we're trying to understand it. Noise causes markets to be somewhat inefficient, but often prevents us from taking advantage of inefficiencies. In a market, we trade based on noise or information. The only rational trade is the one made on information, but there's so much noise in everything that we do that we often don't realize we're trading on noise. We think that we're acting on information, but the reality is we've mistakenly acted on noise. People who do trade on noise create opportunities for people with information to profit. The trouble is that the opportunity is difficult to see. We don't know who has information and who has noise. We're not even sure if our own knowledge represents information or noise. Black took us to cope with noise by using rules of thumb. We rely upon heuristics like anchoring, availability, and familiarity to make sense of the world. The issue is that we share these rules of thumb with each other, and few people have enough experience interpreting noisy evidence to see that the rules are too simple. It's impossible for us to sort through the noisy world for every decision. This is why rules of thumb are effective for decision making. But if we're going to use these rules of thumb, we need to understand when we use them, why we use them, and how they might lead us astray. Noise keeps us from knowing what, if anything, we can do to make things better. Economists are often expected to know the exact economic levers to flip, just as doctors are often expected to know the exact course of action to preserve life. What we forget is that these specialists are operating in the same noisy world as we are. They too are trying to distinguish information from noise, and it doesn't get much easier at the top. Some decisions are clearly better than others, but the big questions are noisy, and they rarely come with a roadmap. In the end, we can't change the inevitability of noise, but we can spend more time thinking about how noise might affect our world and how we perceive it. And most of all, we can remember that none of us are immune to noise, and as humans, we are forced to act largely in the dark.